And yeah, I did think he was going to comply. And uh, But he also told me in that first session, he says, yep. Uh, and all I promised him was, it uh, wasn't outcome. It was, all I can give you is my best effort. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, I think I can get you out of pain. That was it. And uh, he said, uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, when I'm out of pain, I want my world record back. Because in the meantime, someone else had taken it. Yeah. And... Uh, I, I, this story's been told many times, but I, I, I just sort of tossed it off. I said, well, if, if, if you can set the world record again, uh, we'll, we can write a book about that one. In 2013, I had just suffered a, a major injury. I just had my pec reattached, and I reached out to both Brian Carroll and Adam Driggers about coming down to train at Team Sampson. And I figured that if I wanted to be the best powerlifter I could, I wanted to get around the best people I could. And so I made the move down to Florida, and the summer and when I get there Adam is hurt Brian is hurt um, Adam it was kind of unclear if he was even interested in powerlifting anymore and Brian was you know young naive lifter that I was you know I was doing what was you know now I know as the McGill Big 3 but I'm thinking this guy's over here doing yoga had no idea that you know that would be the footprint to help him rebuild his back. 